I am your teacher for today, Teacher Kathy. Welcome to our online children's Bible study. Today, we will be learning about our character trait, gentleness. What is gentleness? Gentleness means being kind, tender, and mild-mannered, showing care and respect for others, and responding with patience and compassion. In Tagalog, kahinahunan. Ito ay nangangahulugang pagiging mabait, malumanay, mahinahon, pagpapakita ng malasakit at paggalang sa iba, at pagtugon ng may pasensya at habag. This afternoon, we will be having a story about a man in the New Testament who showed gentleness to a person who had done wrong to others. That gentleman was Paul. The title of our story is Paul's Gentleness. Paul's Gentle Appeal for Onesimus. 
This story came from the book of Philemon, chapter 1. Heavenly Father, thank you for this another day that we will be having another lesson about gentleness. Please guide and help us to understand our lesson and apply it to our everyday lives. Forgive us for all our sins and thank you for all the blessings you have given us. These things we pray in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Philemon was a rich man living in Colossae, who had a slave named Onesimus. One day, Philemon met a Christian named Paul and became a follower of Jesus. He opened his home as a meeting place for Christians and later became a leader of the church in Colossae. Onesimus decided that he would no longer wanted to be a slave and run away. He may have stole from Philemon to fund his escape. He hid from people wherever he went, knowing that if a runaway slave was caught, he faced severe punishment, even death. He traveled as far away from Philemon as he could leaving the country and heading for Rome. Once in Rome, Onesimus heard that a Christian named Paul was in the city under house arrest. Paul was the same person who had told Philemon about Jesus and his forgiveness. Onesimus decided to visit Paul. Paul welcomed the runaway slave and listen to his story. Paul was able to tell Onesimus about Jesus and how Jesus had changed his life. Onesimus decided it was time to stop running and make things right with God. He became a Christian, even though he knew it would mean going back to Philemon and asking for forgiveness. Paul wrote a letter to Philemon, asking him to forgive Onesimus, the runaway slave, who became a Christian and wanted to apologize. Instead of commanding Philemon, Paul kindly requested that he forgive Onesimus and welcome him as a friend. Paul said, Even though I could command you to do this, I would rather ask you nicely because of love. Paul expressed how much he cared for both Philemon and Onesimus. He called Onesimus my dear son. He also reminded Philemon of his loving nature by saying, Your love has given me great joy and encouragement. Paul asked Philemon to treat Onesimus not just as a slave, but as a brother in Christ. He promised to repay any debt Onesimus might owe, saying, If he owes you anything or has done something wrong, I will pay it, or I will cover it. This shows Paul's willingness to help resolve issues and make peace. So, Onesimus returned to Philemon with a letter from Paul. This letter is found in the Bible and is called the letter to Philemon. And that is our story for this afternoon about Paul's gentleness. How did Paul show gentleness in that story? Paul accepted Onesimus as his son while he was in prison. He did not judge, condemn, or reject him. Even though Paul had the authority to command Philemon to accept Onesimus again, he chose not 
to use his authority in that way. Instead, he asked Philemon as a favor to accept Onesimus' buck. Paul asked Philemon to receive Onesimus not as a slave but as brother in Christ, emphasizing the equality of all believers in Christ, regardless of social status. Paul offered to repay any debt Onesimus might owe, showing his willingness to make things right. Paul's gentleness towards Onesimus led him to be saved. Because Paul did not reject or disregard him, but instead shared to him how Jesus loved him. Remember, kids, that being gentle to others is a way of giving a good testimony and leading them to know Christ. Did you know that before Paul became a Christian, his name was Saul, and he was not a gentle person? He persecuted many Christians and even killed some. However, when he met and came to know Christ, he became a gentle person. He realized that Jesus Christ is the true Savior and Lord. This truth is not just for Paul, Philemon, and Onesimus, but also for all of us. Jesus is our Savior and Lord. He paid all our sins at the cross. He was buried and rose again after three days. If we accept Him as our Lord and Savior, we will be accepted into heaven and not punished in hell, just like Paul, Onesimus, and Philemon. Do you want to accept Jesus as your Savior? Type yes, I want to accept Jesus in the comment section below. Before we go to our question and answer, this is our memory verse. Philemon chapter 1 verse 4 I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers. Philemon 1 verse 4 I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers. Question and answer Question number 1 Who was the slave who ran away? A. Philemon, B. Paul, C. Onesimus. Who was the slave who ran away? A. Philemon, B. Paul, or C. Onesimus. Question number two. What did Paul offer? What did Paul offer? A. He offered to repay the debt of Onesimus. B. He offered to cook for Philemon. C. He offered to visit Philemon. Number three. Paul accepted Onesimus as his A. Daughter B. Son C. Father Paul accepted Onesimus as his A. Daughter B. Son C. Father Question number four. Paul shared Jesus to Onesimus and he became a Christian. A. True. B. False. C. Maybe. And last question. Question number five. Who is Saul? Letter A. The gentle Onesimus. B. The gentle Philemon. Or C. The gentle Paul. Thank you kids! I hope you have learned about gentleness this afternoon. Until next time, see you again and God bless!
sun. Ready? Say. From the rising of the sun. Thank you. 